And we're back live inside Studio 10. You know, we talk a lot about healthy eating and compiling a nutritional but budget-friendly grocery list here in Studio 10, but most books don't cover both of those topics simultaneously. Well, fortunately, Sarasota-based health advocates Jason and Mira Calton have taken on the task of breaking down our shopping lists and making uh, heading to the grocery store much less confusing and daunting. And they're joining us now. And we have uh, on the table here their book, their most recent book, Rich Food, Poor Food. And it is touted as ending the confusion. And that's what we're trying to do today. Um, when we talk about that, building your grocery list, you mentioned that there are certain foods Foods that you need to buy organic there are certain foods that you don't how do you differentiate so we have two lists one's called the fab 14 and the other's called the terrible 20 you differentiate based on how much pesticide residue are left on those produce so the fab 14 tells you what you don't have to buy organically where you can save your money mm -hmm. and there's a whole like 14 foods on those lists foods like um, onions uh, avocados o onions you do not have to buy you do not no. have to buy organic avocados you don't have to buy do no. not it has to do with the thickness of the skin doesn't it has to do with the thickness of the skin and whether or not they're genetically modified. We want to do okay. both both things. Now the, okay. the Terrible 20 list tells you what you do want to buy organically. So things like grapes, blueberries, strawberries, they're all on that list. Lettuce. Because they have thin skin. Because they have thin skin. And they're okay. highly sprayed. Yes. And you also consume the entire thing, right? With an avocado, you don't eat the outside. Right. With hopefully an onion, not. hopefully. <laughs> yes. If you do, then, you know, we'd like to see your recipe for how you prepare that. Right. You were telling us off the air about the number of pesticides found on, was it strawberries? Berries? An apple. An apple. Okay, t tell everybody. It actually tops the terrible 20 list. Oh, apple, which is what we generally give to small children, has on average 42 different pesticides sprayed on that apple. And that means when they eat it, even if you wash it off, they're still getting all of that into their small bodies. Wow. So yeah. if you if you buy uh, a regular apple, are you better off peeling it before you eat it, or will that even make any it difference? It grows right into the fruit itself. So you want to make sure that you're buying org organic apples. Now yep. you, you've broken down today's produce into to color schemes here. Let's talk a little bit about each of these different groupings and what they can do for you and for your body. And, and then we'll get into the terrible news that Jerome received this morning about wheat. So wheat we'll get there. Is the but devil. Let's, uh, let's, talk, let's talk grapes. What do grapes okay. and blueberries do for you? This is the blue purple category. And the great thing about those is they're really, really good with antioxidants. So the blueberries, I always tell people that if you get that three o'clock lull, boost your yeah. energy by eating just a hand handful of blueberries. And again, They're you want to buy these function. organic. Organic. Okay. Exactly. Grapes, great for summer because mm. eating grapes for only two months every day, the dark grapes like these, yeah. actually shrinks varicose veins by 41%. Is that wait, right? wait, how, tell me that again. What? <laughs> eating grapes for two months straight has been proven to shrink your varicose veins by 41%. Every it day? It tightens the veins, yes. Okay. Every day, two months straight. I'm going to try yep. this. What yep. if you, you don't have any practice. practice. You can't see them yet. <laughs> <laughs> what about, uh, we, we eat a lot of frozen grapes in my house. Is it okay to eat them that way, or are you kind of goofing you know yourself what? up that way? Frozen grapes are a great snack, yeah. and actually you don't go through them as quickly because they, they can be high in sugar and they can add a lot of extra calories yeah. in. But you just still, same rules. You want to buy it organically. Okay. Let's talk white, and I notice there's no potato on that plate. <laughs> <laughs> right. When we're talking about the white produce, we're talking about the flesh of the produce. So still bananas, apples, coconuts, they're all included in the white. Now white foods can do something that no other color can do. can help to reduce the risk of stroke by 52%. Onions, a superfood on, the, uh, on their own, they can help to ha reduce osteoporosis. In fact, in Turkey, where onion consumption is the highest, osteoporosis levels are the lowest. And you don't have to buy the exotic mushrooms to get all the antioxidant benefits and, and cardiovascular benefits. You have to get the shiitakes. And all no, like you don't have to do that. Just, yeah. the, just these guys here. These are the baby Bella mushrooms, and you just, so you don't have to break the bank. Now, Mira, you had you had osteoporosis. I had 80-year-old bones when I turned 30. And you corrected that through eating things like it's onions. Correct diet, supplementation. Absolutely. Changing my lifestyle to really give my body those vitamins, minerals, essential fats that I needed to make my bones strong. How long did that take to transform? Two years. And Two look year at process. your posture. <laughs> it's, it's letter perfect. Yeah. Look at that. Now, let's talk, and you've mentioned essential fats. Let's talk about one of the best ones, yeah. and that's in the green category. That's avocados, right? Exactly. Avocado is a fantastic fruit, and what it is, it has that essential fat. Now, we're going to have you use it two ways during the summer. I want people to eat it first because of that essential fat that we want them to, to get, get into 
into their body and it helps keep your skin nice and supple. But then I also want you to make a mask. During the summer, we're all outside a lot and our skin can kind of dry out and look a little bit, you know, faded. Yeah. So if you take some avocado, put it in some sour cream, the acid in the sour cream will act as a really soft exfoliant and it'll just bring that glow right to the surface again. How long do you leave that on? Just until it dries. It doesn't take long at all. Sounds like a good that way to exfoliate awesome. a baked potato, too. <laughs> <laughs> you know, has some chips and salsa. Yeah. yeah. yeah but the problem, though, in my house is when we get the avocados, we have the pre-mixed uh, guacamole, you know, salt and MSG and all that, and you mix yeah. it in and it's so good, but you should really just put natural ingredients in the guacamole, right? Homemade. We got yeah. the recipe right in the book. Okay, so now with the lettuce, in my house, we eat a lot of romaine. Does it matter what kind of lettuce? Absolutely, and especially if you have osteoporosis or any other bone conditions. The thing about lettuce is it contains something called oxalic acid. And oxalic acid, when you eat it, naturally contains this. When you eat it, it actually strips your body of calcium and magnesium. So you want to make sure to get the lettuce with the least amount if you're not going to cook it. Spinach is actually the highest, so when people make spinach salads, it's a bad choice. You should always cook your spinach. We're we don't want to run time. out of time before oh, we, we talk about the reds. No, well, we, we, we also mentioned that wheat is the devil. Can you touch on that quickly? Yes. Wheat is not the wheat of our grandparents or our grandparents' grandparents. It's been genetically altered now, so it's not four foot tall, it's two foot tall. So it's, it, it causes all kinds of problems in our society. A lot of people are gluten intolerant these days, so just there's alternatives to wheat. We can use coconut flour, almond flour. You can still make breads, you can still have mac and cheese, but ditch the wheat and I think you'll see a big difference. They were with saying the, the addiction to wheat is the same, the brain responds the same way as it does to morphine. It's absolutely addicting. 400 <laughs> more Man. calories every single day. Uh, okay, so we'll learn about the red in the book itself. <laughs> you can pick up the book where books are sold, rich food, poor food, check it out, and the Coltons are right here locally in Sarasota, so I'm sure we'll be talking with them again very soon. You will not run into them in your local donut shop. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. But if you, uh, okay. Uh,